All right, so we're going live now, and ah, my dear Ugandan friend, why are you so sad? Daddy, please look at my hair. Look at how bad it looks. There's nothing wrong with your hair. I haven't done it in three weeks. I can't even find any hairstylist. I've got you sorted. Easy fix. Just download it on your iOS or Android phone, and you're good to go. Wait, well, can I also get clients? Because I'm also a caterer, and I've failed to get clients. Only you can't do hair. Only you work on the radio. <laughs> Only you cater. Is it my Don't worry. Easy fix will still solve your problem. But this time, it's Easy Fix Pro. Guys, there's a new work mobile app in Nigeria, and it's called Easy Fix Africa Pro. I think it's the best work app in Nigeria for now. The app enables business owners, taxi drivers, and skilled professionals receive job offers and also search for jobs around them. The app actually serves as your online business office and will enable you receive service requests from customers. Whether you have a physical business office or not, EasyFix Africa Pro will make you visible online and more flexible in business. Download the app for only 2,500 Naira a year. No commission fees and that means 2,500 Naira now and you don't pay again for one whole year. Download EasyFix Africa Pro for 2,500 Naira only and EasyFix Africa for free and start enjoying the services. Ooh. Thank you. Let's go and do your hair. Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheep Movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. And I have Ubi Franklin in the building. Ubi, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, we're only one problem. What was our problem? I'm here to continue to pay my tithes. You see, you see, before you even reach that one, because yeah. last year it might not problem. Yeah. Let's deal with all the issues on the ground now. I was telling um, the gentleman that came with me that the perception I have of Ubi Franklin is different from the perception many people have. Because I have rolled with Ubi one on one. Uh, Ubi is one of the few people I have asked favors from. And I don't think, I can't remember that he ever let me down. That's one thing with Ubi. The second thing is. Ubi, I will have an event. Yaya then was, was charging about a million. I called Ubi and said, I have 150k and I need Yaya and the Ubi will shake up, shake down. Last, last, Yaya will show up. You know? So those were the memories I had with Yaya, with Ubi. Now, there was one day, I can, I can uh, never forget that day. Uh, I was in the studios and Ubi just called and said he's a chocolate boy and I'm I around and said yes and he gave me a packet. It was a brand new iPad. That my iPad that I use till today, that you know that my iPad that I have, that's my iPad. That's nine years ago. Nine years ago. I still have it and I still use it. And it was Ubi that gave it to me. I didn't expect it, I didn't ask him for it. Uh, we played the Yaya songs like everybody else played them. You understand? And I was like, wow. You know, he remembered me. I'm not putting anybody on the spot, but I remember when the band had the uh, beat by Dre, uh, said he was a brand ambassador. So I was like, the band, ah, opportunity to give me beat by Dre. It's something I like to have. Story here, story there. I had to use my money to go and buy beat by Dre. That's last. I'm not saying anything, it's, it's, it doesn't owe me beats by Dre. I would have played, if your song is good, I will play it nonetheless. But the fact that you remember me goes a long way. So, when Ubi first started, me and him had our issue over time, that we disagreed then, and we still disagree now. We still disagree now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't agree with you. <laughs> and no, we still disagree. Doesn't mean I have my friend. <laughs> you know, and I, I wonder how people cannot have friends or cannot make friends with people they disagree with. When I said Apostle John Suleiman is my friend, I said, nothing my friend, my good friend. Everybody was like, yeah, hey, you are a sellout. No, he believes in tithing like we did. I don't, I think it's a sin. But, hello, I can eat with a pagan, with a Muslim, with a Buddhist, let alone my guy. So, I reached out to Ubi. Most people reach out to me and say, I want an eat. I was like, Ubi. I want to sit down with you. I know you. Let me give another perspective on Ubi. Different from, ah, Ubi used to beat me. Ubi collected my money. <laughs> Ubi cheated me. Ubi is not a nice guy. To me, he was a great guy. 
the fact that we had a fallout over tithe does not mean that I still will not remember that he paid tithe to me in the form of iPad. Oh yeah, this is your phone. Uh, <laughs> yes, oh yeah. Uh, where do we start from? Anywhere. Um, I don't know because I want to be gentle. What can we do to get 30 billion in the account? They don't believe the 10 billion. That's With that, I'm about. not going to talk on your behalf, but there's one thing I've learned. We're some of the most ignorant people. Sure. Yeah, sure. It goes as a I'll give you an example. I saw the car struck by lightning, allegedly struck by lightning, or the car caught fire at night. Maybe it was a rainstorm and the car caught fire. And the interior of the car was burnt, and the lady came out and said, Ah, God saved us. Thank God we're not in the car. Hello. If lightning was to strike, the best place for you to be is actually in the car. Whatever happened, yes, if lightning strikes a car, in the aftermath there could be a fire. But it's not going to be an it's not going to be an explosion unless maybe you have petrol in the car with another Nigerian problem. Yeah. And I'm like, people don't read these things up. You can do a billion naira in transactions and at the end of the day make only 20 million. Yeah, definitely. Or 10 million. Sometimes you're lucky, 150 million. But what banks look at is not what's in your account, is how much transactions, what's your um, inflow like not what your profit is like it's your inflow that matters so when i saw that i knowing ubi and though you had techno you worked with my neighbor paul i used to see you there i used to see techno there in my mind i calculated a quick two billion abby let's go you will not do two billion worth of business even if at the end of the day what came to ubi was 80 million or 50 million or 20 million as the case may be. Yeah. It's impossible for you. If you're working with MTM, for instance, and your song is a downloadable song, do you know how much that will read before MTM takes their share, before Ubi takes his share, before Polo, for instance, takes his share, before what gets to Naya? There'll be a bulk of money that could come in and it could come into his account. So that, I didn't see that as an issue. It's not an issue. So I think, um, I think. I, can, I, don't, I don't need to explain anything to anybody, but I believe that if you know, if you are aware, if you read, you understand that, you know, we are in a, a, a country right now where, a society now where people believe that unless you are popping bottles in the club, yeah, yeah. you don't have money. You, don't have money. you know, so I saw a comment where somebody said, uh -uh, you, get, you, you, you don't make that kind of money, and you never see, say, you don't light up all the whole clubs. That's not. I see, I'm in entertainment, but you hardly see me out. I finish work 5 o'clock, 5 p.m., I'm heading back home. I go home, my best friend is my iPad, my laptop, my phones, my, my, my game. And once I'm playing game, I have a lot of things that come through my head. I consume most of my ideas from my game, my, my game room and the things I'm doing. It's, it's very easy. And don't forget that this interview that you're saying was shot last year. From the time that interview was shot till now, it's close to a year already. And I've made another, I've made even more up to half, I've, like, I've transacted more than half of that amount, amount that I mentioned. Do you understand? So it's, it's business. Business goes good, it goes bad. There are times where I can sit down and there's no money in my account. But as far as business, like there are businesses that are moving, you know, I have, I have many businesses. You know, there are businesses that doesn't even need more than three, four, five clients. Once you are servicing it, particular companies and they are doing well they pay your money at the end of the, every quarter at the end of every year you are good to go do you understand so it's not everything that you come that you freeze there are a lot of businesses you do that you don't you don't need to go on social media and promote them for people to come and buy once you have the first client the second client the third client the fourth client you are fine there are businesses there are businesses in nigeria that survive from just one client yes and they make their billions every year now those billions you, you, you must pay salary, you must pay the, peop the people that are, um, like, I'm an aggregator. Like, I have this I have instant apartment, which I have like, over 3,000 apartments where people book from us in Lagos, in Abuja, in Dubai, in Kenya, in Ghana, in South Africa. Now, when people are traveling, they book from us. And once they pay us, we pay the host. Do you understand? 
we get our cut. So it doesn't mean that the 10 billion all belongs to me. Do you understand what I'm saying? So is we do the transaction, I get my cut. You get, everybody always have their cut in every transaction. You know, anybody that wants to make a full amount, the person never goes anywhere. You must have to share something with somebody. Definitely. You know, you have, either you have to pay salaries, you have to pay a, a service charge. That, you see, a lot of kids, when they leave their parents' houses, they appreciate their parents more. Because when they were in the house, they can collect pocket money, you know. You know a lot of young people have disposable income. They collect pocket money, they do this, they do that. When they start living on their own, you see them returning back to their parents and say, they, when, they see, when they are greeting with daddy, they are greeting with daddy and they are looking at you and say, you're a great man. Yeah, a great it's not easy. Do you understand? Every day, every week, <coughs> I have my office, my apartment, my home, um, my other uh, apartment where I need to make sure, yeah? I need to make sure as much as possible. Somebody's calling you from No, like, <laughs> I need to make sure that, I need to be very sure that every week money goes there. If I show you my diesel bill a month, my, you know, so salaries and all that, you know, so. How many people do you employ? Um, as of January, it was 92. Hmm. So, yeah, as of January, it was 92. So we had to uh, clip up a few departments and everything, you know. And then right now we're at um, 50, no, 68. Right now, a lot. 68. And once our other part of the business opens in a few weeks' time, we're going to go back to my 120. Throw some light on the, this business. Here. Oh, the hotel. We have a hotel in Lagos. We have another hotel in Abuja. Yeah, that's opening. So at, we are going to have our staff strength grow up to about 120 something. You know. So and don't forget that there are other businesses we do. There are, we have a lot of freelance um, staff that come in, they do their job and they go, you know, we run a tech company as well. So there are a lot of uh, um, uh, consultants that just come, they work on the project. Yeah, so there are some staff that work quarterly. It's just a quarter, they work on a particular project and we pay them up and they go, you know. I'm, go I'm going, if I'm going for a meeting in Abuja and I have to, or going for a meeting anywhere and there's a particular person I need to draw up something for me and we present together. You know, yeah. you know, so I get somebody, okay, you are going to work with me on this project for three months, you know, you are going to be paid. So there are other people that, you know, freelance once in a while. So if we see that you have a particular skill that we really need in the company every day, we hire you. Do you understand? And so, you know, some of those guys never want to be hired. Those guys that have special skills, they never want to be Yeah, they just want to, they want to work, work on the project. On a contract basis. You know, so these are things every day. And there was a time, I'll, if I look at what I'm paying as salary, but you see, God made it possible for me to be able to. Yeah, that was. No, no, no. no. <laughs> God made it possible for me to to, to to be able to pay. I'm not a lazy guy. I'm always working. I don't sleep. You know, I set my alarm when I was when I used to live with my my parents. Right? They wake us up at four five o'clock, uh, four thirty five a.m. for us to do morning prayers. We do morning prayers till six, especially Mondays to Fridays, because you need to go to. Um, you need to go to school and all that. Now, now, I still had that thing in me. I always woke up 4.35. So, I said, let me at least chill small. At least small money don't come here. Let me relax, you know. <laughs> but if I have to wake up every morning 6.35. 6.35. You know, there are times you wake up and you're still on the bed, just chilling, mm. you know. 6.35 I'm up and my alarm goes up at 7.20 so this is, is, is a normal thing I, no matter the time I sleep 6.35 my, my body I don't know it, it just fits my body so I'm, I'm a hustler I'm, I'm out there every day if there's no business you bring at, if that business is legal and not going to put me in trouble I'm ready to do it you know I'm someone some guy that if, if, if you tell me I don't sell wristwatches but I know a lot about wristwatches mm. no, now from what I see you're wearing a presidential yeah, exactly. So, I know if I see you come pass by and see you're wearing a presentation, first I'll gauge you. Now I'm gauging you because I know I, I need to know what you and I can discuss. Do you understand? At the level of which we can discuss. Now there are people that they will dress, they will finish dressing, but they don't have anything. Anything. Else. Once you say hi to them, you know, they don't have anything to offer you. You, you the keep moving. Ah, it's a bit happy. You, exactly. Once you say that, yeah. So, <laughs> they no bad you. See, everybody, see. You know a sister? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so things like that, things like that do happen, you know. So I'm not, I'm not, I don't need to explain to anybody on the internet whether or not. But the most important thing is, 
whatever you're doing, always ask yourself that the situation where you are, other people are doing th th things differently. Now, I, I, I challenge everybody, go and print your account statement for the last 10 years. You find out, you see what you have done. Yeah, you don't need to challenge. They will be afraid. They will, you'll be afraid of what you have done, you see, because these are things that are coming in now, let alone someone that has different businesses. I opened a restaurant in 2016. That restaurant, strategic location, was doing well. Was still it, doing well. Still it doing was, well. It, um, was it not for your ex-wife? That's the story we heard. Yeah. But, you know. You don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I, you know, I never want to talk about her because she never talks about me. So, we yes. never talk about each other. So, you know, the most important thing is the, the relationship we have is, you know. And there's no hope of coming back. Come on. <laughs> Why are you asking me this kind of question? No vex, but no, um, you see, we're friends. That's what's most important. Oh, you know, I, I, I saw you at Chimayaso's party. Are you guys? Oh yeah, we're together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, was... we're friends. You know, she's a great person. You know, a great person, a very uh, wonderful mother to our son. So it's. Oh, I would never um, want you to say anything. Make this. I will never. I will never. I will never go anywhere and and say anything evil or bad about, about her. You know, because. We are all human beings and you know we've made our mistakes and do you miss her sometimes? <sighs> well, that's, a, that's a very that's a very tough question. The answer is yes. yes. Moving on. <laughs> <very tough. laughs> see, listen, you see, the thing is, um, when you're friends with someone, yeah. when you're friends with someone, um, this someone you you marry, you have kids, you have a kid, you have a kid together. Um, and you don't have anything evil against her. You know, there are times where you just sit down and you know that these are things that we, we, we are done together. You know, situations like that happen. You know, it doesn't mean that I'm trying to... Memories. Yeah, yeah, it's just memories. You know, there are times where even you sit down and you remember what, no matter how you and your ex-wife ended, there's a no. I'm sure there's one thing. I'm sure there's one. <laughs> but you see, it's, it's a... It's a See, it's life. Things, things do happen. You know, things do happen. Not because I always tell people every day when I when I open social media and I see marriages, uh, uh, everyone has gone their separate ways. It makes me feel like, but you see, there's still hope. You know, there are, there are people that are still going to be together for as long as possible. Yeah, these things happen. You know, doesn't mean that the guy is a bad guy or the woman is a bad woman. But it's just that the times where you know. That thing speaking, that speaking of relationships, yeah. um, a lot of women have popped out of the woodwork. <laughs> that that ah, yeah, the relationship will be you, you know the story. Oh, see, okay, basically, the, um, my my ex, my girlfriend or my ex that just had a baby. Okay. Yeah, she. She was, we were dating before she started working with me. So we were dating one day, we were dating, and then one day she came to my, she, so I was on the phone. I was trying to get a good com communications person, right? right? And she had already works, worked in a, uh, a communication department in a, a DHL in South Africa. And she said, oh, I could help you be doing a few things while you look for the person to do it, which is, is not bad, you know. After that, we started working. With us, you know, and everything. So, whoever went to tell the blogger that oh, I, was, I was sleeping with my staff, that we're working to get, we're dating already. Before, and she became your staff. Yeah, she became my staff because I felt like she had the, the, the particular skill, skill that you, skill that I needed, you know. And she was someone that could understand and listen to me at a particular time to do the job. You know, she's a she's a great person. You know, a very great person doing her business in South Africa now, doing everything that she needs to do. You know. And that's fine. So I, I had to post it as, oh, listen, this is my, um, I'm having a baby, you know. So not every relationship will always end in marriage, you know. But sometimes, I've made, see, honestly, I want to say it today, Freeze. The way I've had my kids, honestly. How many kids do you have? Three. Okay. The way I've had my kids, right, is not how I would have loved to have, to have them. You see, I pray to God for four kids. I have three now. And I would have wished that they were all together in the same home, 
the same the same you know I also that's wish for that. yes I would have wished for that but you see things happen you see I prayed that God I want four kids but I never told God how I wanted the kids to be you know so it's things that we just but for me I don't regret anything mm. see they are my they're, they're priority for me they are priority for me if you see my son you know if my, if I walk in here and my son he knows if I go to pick him up from the school once I open this door, the the uh, class door, and they say, "Jaden, see your daddy." You see him running. You know, I like, I love that excitement. You see, you cannot have everything. Do mm. you understand? Word. See, there are people in freeze. I tell you something. If I show you my DMs, mm. if I show you my DMs, every time I I am with my son, maybe we're playing on Instagram and everything. You see, somebody will DM me and say, "Hi, I wish I had a husband like you." My husband has never provided for my, my his kids, uh, uh, his kids, you know, rather than you, you drink and go and carry men. You see, people have their challenges. It's not every marriage that you see together. Yeah. It's actually a happy marriage. Yeah. You know, so we need to we need to leave this term, this thing in our head in, in Africa where we, see I'm not saying marriages should break. People should try and work on it. Do you understand? Try as much as possible to work on it. But if it's not working, it's not working, there's nothing you can do. You know, and this thing can be very draining, you know, especially when you love the woman or maybe the woman loves the man and she's trying to make it work or the, the man is trying to make it work. It's not easy. So, for me, I, I'm happy with my kids. They're the best thing that ever happened to me. And you know what, Freeze, I try to, I, you know, then, you know, hot head. Now, I try to be very careful with the things I do. Because I always say something. If I'm running now, I don't run alone. I have three kids to carry, you know, impossible plus their mothers. Mm. Do you understand? What's your relationship like with their mothers? Um, your relationship with uh, Lillian seems quite amicable. Yeah. I saw it with my yeah. eyes, you know. Um, but what about the other ones? How are you related? No, very to good. We talk every day. You know, we talk every day. You know, I try to. to the kids. Yeah, if you see me talking to my, my, my daughter's mother, we are cool, you know. I'm not gonna say we are cool, cool, cool to the end. But you see, there are times where you disagree. Mm -hmm. But you like see, our disagreement is not our it's not disrespectful. It's not disrespectful. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and you know what? I like yabbing her too. Sometimes I like yabba. We talk. You know, you have to keep that thing going. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. How would you feel if you went to a restaurant yeah. and um, Lillian, for example, showed up with a guy and they only date? Oh sure, she's that's good. It has happened to me. I walked into a restaurant on a date and she was sitting down there. I went to her, I said hi, I went to my, my date. And you know, see, it's cool. Yeah, she didn't come and challenge your baby. Why would she do that? Though? And you did go and challenge will never even do that. She won't mm -hmm. even do that. She, I don't think she's that kind of person. People, that's how they divorce. She will not be here. You know, so, okay, let me, let me, let me, Sorry, be let me talk to myself. Listen, if I need to learn that. No, no, see, you need to understand that. See, you know, most of the time, you, the people you're listening to, mm -hmm. I always tell people, a man's wealth is the information he has. I was speaking to Taste Buds about this earlier on today. Uh, we're talking about Bitcoin. When Bitcoin started, someone talked to me about it. When it was one dollar to a Bitcoin. This was 20, 2009? 2009, 2010. 2010. I just come out of shares and lost a ton of money on shares. So when they were talking about it, I was looking at a big thing. I don't have two million to invest. If only I invested hundred dollars and bought hundred bitcoins. <laughs> you, you understand? <laughs> I've been driving a Rolls Royce. Oh, no, it's a good business. I invested in it. So that was what I was telling. I was like, look, access to information and the ability to utilize information yeah. is one of the core things that separates the rich from the yeah. poor. Yeah. See, everywhere you go, there's something called access. Some government officials go into government because of access. Hmm. Now, when they get into government, they become too lazy. And they allow other guys. You know, there are guys that have never been in government, but they made more money than people in government. Because they have the right, they have the access. They use the access well. Now, you know, when you play football manager, they tell you something. You see, they, they are advising that the striker without the ball is deadlier than the striker with the, 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 the player with the ball. Because at any time, that ball can leave this player to that player with properly and well positioned and his course. You see, the access to information is very important. The good thing about me is 
I had a lot of friends that had the right access to information. Mm. When, they, when they tell me, I think this is the next phase of where we are going to, this is what we are doing, what do you think? They're asking what do you think for me to measure their risk. And I'm asking them, what do you think? Let us go. They, they hire the risk in the business, that's what I do. If, they, if, it's, if it's lower risk, I don't do it because it's, it's lower easy. risk is usually lower income. It's lower income, higher risk. I've done a business. You know, one thing I didn't say in my, uh, that my business day interview is I've lost a lot of money in business too. Oh, yes. I've lost oh, yes. a lot of money. But you see, once I lose that money, I learn, I sit down, I try to switch, you know, try to pull everything around. It's okay, you know what? Let me, let me move, move on. I keep going. I have an office in Dubai. You know, I have our apartment office in Dubai, um, Clover Bay Towards Business Bay. Now, if I go to Dubai, you think I'm going for a German. You know, Dubai is a place where you, when you go, it feels like you're going yeah. for a German. You yeah. go there, there are times where I walk from my apartment to the, the office. The sun is, you know, Dubai sun is killing. Scorching. You know, so you, you have to, I, I'll do those jobs. People don't see it. You know, the funny thing about social media is they don't see when you're, you're building. You're building. It's like a bamboo you're stick. Building, you know, and you've heard the story of the bamboo stick. Apparently, it takes about five years after planting for the bamboo to shoot. But the moment it comes out, in a few weeks, it's on top. Exactly. Now, how long does it take a bamboo to grow? Some people say a few weeks. No. That five years, while it was still in the ground, you had to water it. And you had to nourish it. And then you are watering, you are nourishing, you are tending, and you are seeing no result. No result, yeah. You are seeing no hope. Then one day the hope comes and everybody's like, wow. So I understand where you're coming from. You know, it's like if you live in an estate, for example, right? Live in an estate, for example, you there are people that you see, there are um, houses you see in an estate that say, ah, this house is fine. But you go in and the furniture in the houses. But there are houses you see outside, dirty, you don't, but when you get into that house, yeah. You say, you know, that's how life is. You know, it's not everything people show you, and it's not everything people show on social media. The interview I had with Business Day, yeah. I was really very honest. And I was just speaking my mind. You know, as, entrepre as uh, entrepreneurs, every day we pass through challenges. Please, there are days where I did like this. I don't pay bill, pay bill, nothing day. I'm serious. And nobody remembers that. No, but see, even. Even till now, we did this sometimes, but you know, they, because there's bills to pay. You are building. I'm building right now, so I don't expect to keep money in my account. Mm. I'm building now. Like, I'm building, I'm not saying literal terms of a, a house. Yeah, I'm yeah. building structures here and there. I, if I fail this one, I switch the business model. I fail to use, I, I switch it. I'll get to my destination. Not even anybody that is abusing me on social media is going to stop me. I know where I'm going to. You know, my father once said something, he said, never allow a man blackmail and threaten you. They need to pick one. Or you allow them to do both. Because there are people that just feel like, oh, I have this information, I'm going to go to Instagram, I'll go to this person, I'll go to that person, I'll go to the United I'll give her the story. But at the end of the day, or I'll go to Stella, I'll go, I'll give her the story. But at the end of the day, you see, these guys don't know that abroad, before I break a story to you, you need to pay me. Mm. The guy's doing free, uh, free press, whether it's a true story or a, a, a fake story. It, it, it's very publicity for you. It, yeah, <laughs> you're paying, you're paying, you know, you're losing money. You feel like that may give them the work, right? For them to put out how much money the bloggers are making. Yeah, I, okay, you want the story? I have an exclusive on a social person, you know, you want the story? Bring money. Now, you know what? They use your story that you give them for free because you want to feel happy that the other person is going in. down, right? Mm -hmm. They use your, your own story that you gave it gave to them. True or false? They use them they use it to, to gain followers on their platforms and they make money from it. So now um, Channel TV, AIT, Sound City, the Hip TV, MTV and Co. Trace, they have people they send to go and get news for them. And those people are on salary. And those people are on salary. But the guys here, what they do is they just wait for someone to DM them or send them an email to give them gist. Now, when you've gone to social media to give them the gist, what, what now happens? What now happens? 
You know, they, 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 they say everything they want to say. When they are done, people take, people take their sides and everything, and life moves on. Life moves on. on. Is there something I want, to, I want to get straight? Yeah. I don't know if you saw a video of CC the other, um, of um, t boss the other day. Yes. Our t boss when it was in Calabar for years. So I didn't even know she was going to be for that. You know? So one day I just saw So it was one day I saw her, and I said, Iliana, because that's her name. Iliana. She always. She always um, that's all. So yeah, the one they are calling T-Boss. So we said we, you know, we started talking from then, and I helped her with a lot of work in terms of uh, endorsements, you know, different things here and there. I never, for one day, freeze. I'll tell you this: I never asked T-Boss out. Mm. I've never done anything with her. You know, I don't even know where she lives. But there was a time when she was get the, the, uh, her tummy was bulging. They said. No, it's not me. No. <laughs> it's not me. You know, so. So how who spreads I've these never rumors? in my life. See, if I ask her, I've never in my life gone to her house. Eh? If I'm in Abuja, hey, where are you? Where are you? You know, we either maybe have lunch or something. You know, we go to shoot. You know, she 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 did a lot of um um uh, uh, what's it called um endorsement work for um June Center. You know, she shot a few the things for them for their fashion and everything. You know. We go, you know, I've, I've never, I don't even know her house, mm. you know, and she's this kind of person that she doesn't like to disturb people. I can be in Abuja and she knows I'm in Abuja, she'll never even call me. Maybe if there's work that she needs to do, we do the work and she goes. I've never, you know, people, we need to correct this perception where if you are working with a girl, the that you are doing something with a the girl, then CC, mm. accusations here, accusations there, CC. You know, I went to Madonna University. So CC graduated from Madonna University as well. So after that, you know, there's always that connection, you know. And I saw that, you know, I always ask myself, why am I attacking this person? There must be something about this person. You know, and we started working. And then I helped her fix a few a few things together. You know the funny thing, even some of the guys from the they have set Big Brother, I've helped a lot of them. But how come nobody goes back? You see, the thing is this, a lot of people never want to say thank you to someone because they want to feel like they take the glory. So please, if I sit here today and tell you the amount of people that come to my office and you either give them money or you give them something, you help them with something here and there, I don't want to, I'm not going to try to blow my mind. I know one day they will come out and appreciate. You see, there's always an opportunity to say that. I'm not doing all these things because I want them to clap for me. I'm doing all these things. Free, I said, like I said in my, on my business day interview, one thing that makes me very excited is seeing people happy. If I have to give you this thing for you to be happy, I'll do it. Do you understand? I have, a, I have my driver I've been working with for nine years. And one thing I was asking, what can I do to make you happy? Every time is, is maybe just very few things. If you see my driver, you don't know that he's my driver. He dresses well. Put the phone on silent. He dresses well, <laughs> right? If, if, you see, if I walk in here with my driver, he wears the whole Gucci, you know, you know, and he hasn't changed in those years. He's still respectful. My family know him. He's one guy I can say, okay, you know what, this car, he's driving to the village. He will drive it to the village. No, pro no problem, you know. And what have, what have I done? I've looked at him and said, the only thing, one of the things I can take as burden from these guys, let me take your kids and just sort out their fees every now and then. Which I've been doing for the last maybe three years, three or four years that he's had kids. I know that that has reduced the body. You know, there are things that you do, you, there are very little things that you do here and there. There are people that you help, you do everything for make sure that they are fine. But they will still hurt you. Because that's their, it's not, it's the way life is. There's, and there's nothing you can do about it. So I've helped a lot of people, men. There's a guy that commented on my page yesterday. Okay, last year, I quietly gave out loans, quietly because I didn't want people to pressure me. I quietly gave out loans to a few people, like about 10, like 200K, 100K, there about, just on my own, because I know how difficult it is, freeze. It's so difficult to make, to generate, to get money, to start up a business. That's why I said, that bulk money will not come. Mm. Do you understand? You see, even if it will come, 
the bulk money that always comes to you, boom, to start something, is always, they're always, there's always a command right, about it. Do you understand? So, I know when you even have the whole money to start a business, that business is always shaking. Always shaking. Yeah. So, because it didn't go through yeah. um, the banking time. But if you look at, if you, if you watch Dango, uh, listen to Dango's story, you see that Dango is not just, you know, they, you know, they are building times. Where, whatever you, where, however you go see over it, time. Yeah, you build it. There's no magic. You keep building it. The cake has to be in an oven for a certain time. You can know, be quicker, it can be uh, activated to be quicker, but that you not put it in the oven. Is it like? Look at the, where one of the richest black women, um, uh, Alakuja. Oh. I heard she used to work with uh, Mara uh, Mariam as her stylist, like, as her mother. You see, that's her beginning. But you know what? She was in the right corridor at the right bus stop. With the right people, with the right people. and she acted right. Mm. You see, today, there are a lot of young people that are not ready to wait for their time. Oh yes, they want to jump and keep jumping and keep jumping. That's why they keep making mistakes. And then when you tell them I've done this, they believe that they've toiled and they've not done this thing. But you have, you, they don't think you've toiled, but you've done it. It's because there's some of us that wait. When I used to be Julius Sabu's PA, I think yeah, I remember. You remember? Yes. I was Julius Sabu's PA for two years. We had our issues, but guess what? That guy opened my eyes to most of the things I know in the Nigerian entertainment industry. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I'm not against with those that do. It's their, it's whatever they want to do. When I go to places, there was no event. There's no state government house. There's no place we not we didn't enter. Now, why are other young guys will see that going into all those places as oh my guy will take selfie? That's what they do these days. I saw it as. Let me, okay. who is this guy? What does he do? You tell me. I'll write it down. I have a daughter. I'll write it down. I'll meet you, I'll meet you in front. We'll keep talking, talking. We'll, keep, and, and we'll enter places. Julius Agu, see, one thing you don't know about, Julius Agu is one of the most selfless people. Very open, very real, you know? Mm. And his wife is one of the best women I've ever met. Like, I've, I've, people I've ever walked around. She quiet, she doesn't mm, like she trouble, have issues. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. she did her corner, she doesn't want problem. We are going to work in the morning, she don't make food for us, we chop, we they go where we go, you know? Things like that, you know? And that's my guy any time, any day. Do you understand? I learned all these things from, a uh, lot of things from him where, you know, and after that, my brother, I worked on the intern show as my brother's uh, uh, assistant production manager. I worked with a lot of people, I was able to learn a lot of things about business from the proposals they were drawing, you know, I see that I saw them presenting. I learned a lot of things there. Then there's school. You know, people always think there are people that have not gone to school. Mm -hmm. That if you if you hear them speak, freeze. You you like wait. you read. You need to gather your information yourself. A man with that information is as good as you have nothing. If you have ten billion naira today, cash sitting in your account. If you have it as a human being, if you have that money, and you have the wrong information. That money, the guy that has one billion is with the right information will overtake you in, in five years. It's simple. Now, it's like Uber, Taxify, Instant Ride. You know there was a time where taxi guys, you, you call your cab guy, will come and pick you. Now you sit in the comfort of your home, you order the ride, the ride drives and comes in front of your house and picks you and you go without having to make those phone calls. And they will pose for you. Yeah, and they pose for you. And it's safer because it's safer. you have the person's yeah. data and everything. Business is still moving. You know, everything is live. Things keep moving, things keep changing. So, all these people I've mentioned, CC, T boss, great people, you know, wonderful people. But people should stop thinking that if you're working with a girl, you're actually doing something with a girl. Yeah. You know, these are people that. Where do you think that bad reputation will come from? Um, because I've seen so many things grown on the internet and. It could have been funded by this or what do you think? There's somebody that, that. I'm sure there are people doing it, but you see, the most important thing is I really don't have time for those people. You see, I hate social media, right? But I love the way I use it. Now, if there are a lot of people on social media because they want to pass information around, click and forward to somebody and laugh. For some of us are on social media to sell something. Oh yes. See, however you use social media. Is what should be benefit is, is what should make you happy right so if you're using social media for the wrong reason it's bad so how i use social media very important to me is i use social media for the right things to sell my brand to sell my product to sell myself you know 
I don't what think I use social media yeah, for. So you need to use social media for the right reason. And if you are not making money from what the things you are doing on social media, and if you are not making money from the things you are doing on social media to hurt other people, that means you are not even oh, doing anything. Oh yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, so if social media should be people where you just come. Now, not everything you see on social media or posted on social media is actually true. Do you understand? So the other three days ago, no, last week, I just woke up and I saw a post on social media on uh, somebody forwarded me a blog post saying that I do the video and Chelsea. Tell us about that. And I was like, hold on. So I now po- I launched the, the, the post and forwarded it to David on WhatsApp. I said, David, what is it? He now said, oh, no, nothing like this. Though. And he now picked it up and posted it on his Insta story and said it's false. Right now, so he, to see that it was a calculated attempt, right, at me, like that's what they've been trying to do, different angles. But who is behind this? We're, we're investigating, we'll find out. Four people have already been arrested. Yeah. On top of this David own or on top of people that have been slandering you? No, like, I, I started with this David own because it was more, it was more direct, mm. right? Mm. You know, it was more direct because... Arrested you know, and detained or arrested <coughs> statements? Arrested right? men, they've written their statement, they're going to go back. When everybody's yeah, proper, when we, when we have everything, because I've been busy. You know, I'm traveling tomorrow. When I go, when I get back, I can sit down with the police. Every, I will have to read this. They have to tell me because I told the police I don't want to see them. I don't want to know who they are. But every the, the thing is to follow the right process. Mm. When, when we investigate everything, when I sit down in front of them and I'm, I'm, I'm asking them my own questions, I will know who is sending them, and that's the, that's the thing. Because you think we intend to prosecute. Them? Yes, I'll prosecute you them, and also there are other people I'm trying to prosecute as well. Nigerian banks, it's very important to note that there are people using our pictures and using our, our, our brands to dupe other people. You, you know this thing they do, flip cash. I don't know if you've seen it on yeah. Instagram. Flip cash. I woke up this morning, one girl said they duped her to 20,000. The other guy said they duped him 55,000. You know, Nigerian banks need to understand that if people are using their accounts to dupe other people, they need to do something. So I've written a petition about that too to um, the police. The police is going to investigate the matter and also get the banks to bring all those accounts and then we trace the people because there's BVN now. So yeah. you can trace anybody yeah. to wherever. So now if if we cannot we cannot arrest them through their bank accounts, that means there's a pro- the, 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 our system has a problem. That means they should close this BVN. You know, I saw something today. One other lady posted today saying that she doesn't flip cards. They just use pictures of different people and just post everywhere. Like today, my my cousin just sent me one on Facebook. Different ta- different account. If you if I block a report, like one of my, my, my one of my guys, my brand's guys, uh, um, Kingsley, uh, Kingsley, he does graphics. You know, he sent me one that he kept reporting until they blocked. You know, so the the bank need to understand that people are using a structured environment, a structured business to dupe other people. Because if money can pass through that account that is fraud, that that's fraud, they need to track it and freeze. I want to tell you this, right? Mm. I don't think I have ever, right? I've ever, I said this thing to somebody. I said, people say, Ubi duped me, Ubi did this. And I don't have one policeman that's come to my, my gate and knock and say, You're under arrest for duping somebody. So, okay, I remember Yanya was interviewed on my show. <coughs> yeah. Uh, he made a lot of allegations. Go and seek redress with it. You see, social media is not where to come and seek redress. Do you understand? So, you, you, if you see what, when people make do interviews, you know that it's targeted. I've been having my interview here since I've not thrown I've not thrown anyone under the bus because it's not my person. There are people that have offended me. There are people that are owing me. Freeze! I'm owing people. People that are owing me too. I like the fact that say, no, 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 he's a, I'm a businessman. <laughs> If any one businessman should come out and say they, they, are, they, they are not owing anybody. Or oh, he's not owing Or oh, he's not owing anybody. I'm owing poor people are owing me. But you see, I will never take anybody and throw them under the bus because they are owing me money. You know, there are ways, there are times where that business was sweet. Mm-hmm. When it's so you need to find a way to build, you know. And on the interview you we're talking about, I was surprised to see that interview, I swear to God. I was surprised. It's why you made us start talking again after a long yeah, time. I was surprised to see that interview because just a few months before that interview, we're cool, my guy went to his house, we're chilling, you know, discussed a few things, discussed a few anomalies that were, you know, things that are, are happening around him, you know, and I advised him where I could, you know, 
he sent his boy, they, they should buy something, they prepared food, we ate in his house, and we left. Do you understand? So I was surprised to see that kind of thing come up because I, I felt like, you see, nobody's going to be with each other forever. It's simple. But I say, I say something that I will never in, in my life try to take somebody and tarnish their image because I feel a certain kind of way. I will never do it. And I always say this, I, I don't comment on all the list of work, I don't comment on those places. And I always say this, if I cannot use my own account to comment on Insta blog or comment on places, I don't need to go and start opening another fake account to abuse people. Oh yes. Which a lot of people do. Oh yes. Do you understand? Me, if I you have Instagram the guts with Insta blog with my name, if you have the guts, yes. if you have the guts, use your page and I'll comment. comment. Yeah. About, you see, most of the comments you see on Instagram, there are times you see a comment eh? and you read the comment, you know the person. Mm, it has happened to me before. I was in a relationship once with me. I'm not going to mention the relationship, you guys are free to guess. And she was chatting on the phone. Because me and the person don't get uh, suspicious, I believe, say, the person they chat with man. So I was so up to peep and see what the person was chatting with this man. I wanted to know who the man was. She was on Linda Cage's blog. There was a story about her. She was writing it. And you see, there are comments you see, you know where that comment is. Do you understand? So after that, when I saw other comments on that blog, I knew who was writing the comments. So I understand where you are coming yeah. from. There are comments you see, you know, if you get the balls, yeah, if you say you be man or be woman, use your own page and comment. Let me see how you, let me know how you feel. See, please, I'm a diehard guy, people don't know this. You might see me so, I love God so much, and it's with the faith I have in God. That I go, I'm, I arrogantly go anywhere I want. I don't care. I'm not saying I don't meet people that I'm arrogant to them. Do you understand? But I go. My confidence level is is one million percent. If I enter a place, when I finish talking to you, you understand that somebody came to the room. I don't have time to go and start creating Instagram, fake Instagram account to go and comment about something. I don't have that time. Now those are the same people that when they fail, they believe that other people succeeded through the the, the wrong. Yeah, this thing. A lot of people have been accusing me that I'm a Yahoo boy, I've done th- I've, I do fraud. I've never in my life. I want to say this. See, EFCC, they are there, they can investigate me. I've never involved myself in anything fraud. One, day, one guy made Real me, quick, yeah. talking about fraud, what's your take on Naira Mali? I know it has nothing to do with uh, oh, what oh, Naira Mali, the artist? Yes. And this whole. I don't. You, you know, know um, see, I don't have any issue, issue. with anybody. See, I'm against fraud. The courts have not said he, he's, he's, guilty. Uh, he's guilty, right? Until the court say he's guilty. For me, I don't care what they all do with their, their they all do with their lives. But make sure you can take care of your family, take care of yourself, take care of your people. But I'm against fraud. Totally. I'm against fraud totally. So that story, so you're using this opportunity to quell. Yeah, I'm against it, right? I'm yeah, against yeah, it that's... totally. I don't want say I'm not judging anybody. It's not my it's none of my business. But the most important thing is however you make your money is none of my business. But if you if if you have to make your money, if if making money will make other people feel pain, that's not the right thing to do. Mm. Do you understand? There are not of us that have done legal business for the rest of our lives. Right, and I'm saying this. If, if you have, you should come and investigate me. Do you understand? But as at, at the end of the day, we need to understand that there are things that we're teaching our kids that are coming up. Very now, um, I met you and Yanya together. Yeah. Uh, how far have you guys sat down to have an amicable? Um, I, I'm not saying. Okay, I saw him once in Abuja at the Hilton. I was going to somewhere he was with people going somewhere. I didn't really say I didn't say anything to him. He didn't say hi to you. Everybody went their separate way. You see, freeze. But do you hope that one day you guys will freeze it down? For me, where my thought process is, where I am, I don't have any issue with him. If you look at my interview, I shed tears in my interview because I felt very pain. Which of your interviews? The one with Dotum. Mm. I, sh- I, felt, yeah, I felt very pain because 
I never was expecting that kind of thing from him, ever. Do you feel betrayed? Yes, I do. I do. I feel betrayed, but... Well, it's not expected, because human beings, if, if you've gone through a divorce, a divorce means you and somebody said we're going to be together for the rest of our lives, and then it's not working out. I don't think after a divorce process, anything else can ever feel like a betrayal. Or did you see your relationship with Ian, your business relationship with Ian, Ian? As something that could have gone further than that, if not further. Well, after we after we went our separate ways, we still we still talk. We go out to clubs together. Whose suggestion was it to go your separate ways? His. So if he hadn't suggested that you guys go your separate ways, would you still have been with him? Um, probably yes, because he's a guy I really love so much. Yes, mm. I I don't if if I don't would like you have him, dragged him into your business sphere. If he if he was interested, because there are few that. We spoke about, but he, he wasn't interested. So I believe one day, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll meet somewhere, and he'll see that. Wow. Baba, I know say I make I, I I I did wrong here. I did wrong here. See, one thing about it, I see I still say it here. Today is the twenty seventh of uh, June. June. Yeah, he still remains one of the best artists that ever hit Nigeria and the world. And I pray that he comes back. That's it. Yeah. See. Praise. You can never pray bad prayer for people and I expect good ones to come to you. Truth. The reason why you see me keep growing is because That's I sit in my house every day and pray for people. Do you know that you don't know the kind of people I pray for? Do you know this is the first? This is you are not talking about yeah. Christianity. That title you are talking about is not Christianity. This one you are talking about. Do you understand? About there are people I pray for. There are days I wake up. You know, there are days I see people's story on Instagram and I just pray for them. I say, God, it's from my heart. They, don't, they didn't tell me and I don't need to tell them that I pray for them. You understand? It's not eye service. It's me. If eye service is the only one I tell, I just pray for you. you know? <laughs> I sit down in my own corner, I pray, I tell God my beliefs. I believe. I believe in God. I have faith. And when I say this is this is what I want, it will always happen. And I tell God this is what I want. It will always happen. So I don't have any issue with anybody. Whoever thinks that they are fighting me, see, they are, they are elevating me. True. Please, from from when these things started happening. Please, if I tell you that things things change totally. See, when you think you're fighting somebody, you know the kind of person I am, and there are a lot of people like that. When you are targeting somebody so much, mm. targeting that person, I'm this kind of person that always say, I want to work with that person. That's the person I want to work with. I need to know why they are targeting them. That's the reason why I and CC work together. You know when she was from people where people were targeting her, this, that, that, that. But when people were targeting you, you don't work with me. <laughs> you know, you, your own. I was, you know, I didn't agree with you with what people were targeting you. You know, there's one thing people target you about, which is tight. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I don't think there's any other thing. Even me sitting down here, I don't agree with you. Do you understand? Doesn't make us enemies. Yes. Do you understand? We are guys. There are people that don't agree with. Do you understand? There are people that don't agree with. We go out every day. We we transact business. We sign checks. We do our thing. But I don't say I agree with you. You mm -hmm. go, you know, but. The most important thing, the check we are signing is not that thing that we disagree. Yeah. Yeah. If I disagree with you about something, I'm not going to share, share money with you on that thing. It's simple. Mm. So, that's it. Now, um, talking about people who have been hating you and pulling you down, there was uh, an article that we read that uh, MC Galaxy uh, paid $3 million for you. Can you throw some light on that? Oh, MC Galaxy is my guy. You know. People don't know this. That, um, a few years ago, uh, I went to Kokola and myself and uh, and then we're, the next day we were going to shoot Kukiri video. So Kukiri had already become his good song, it was being played everywhere. So I now met, so MC Galaxy was the MC of that comedy club at Kokola. So he was dancing um, to the Kukiri so I was like, I want to hear this guy, we need to put him in this video because we're shooting the video the next day. So the next day I called him. I told him, okay, I told him, okay, he should come for the video. He said, he doesn't have what to wear. I said, he should come. I brought a shirt from the house. And, uh, the pink shirt he was wearing was my t-shirt. So I brought it. I said, he should come. I gave it to him. You know, he wore the shirt. We shot the video. Everything came out right. And people thought I was the one in that because we kind of look alike. Got into people. So, after that, he went, he started singing, you know, he started his comedy club. He started singing. So, he brought Igo Calabar, the one who featured David um, on listen to it, I said, this is a good song. So, you know, when I say anything good, I, I want to I plug my artist in. I knew that song was going to be big. I said, ah, 
let him, since he has his but let him enter and do one verse, right? Now, at that time, I told him that they already had mixed and mastered the song and sent it out to blogs. It was, oh, it was going to be released, but he played the song for me first. And I, and I, I was listening to him, like, this is a good song, it's going to blow. Do you understand? So once I told him that, he gave him more um, courage. courage to go and push it, and the song became big. There we go on the song, big song. Now, when he brought Sekem to me, I remember when we recorded Kukiri, sorry, Your Waste. Sekem felt like that Your Waste kind of thing. Sekem became very big, the dance, you know, and everything. So, there was a time he had issues with accommodation. He was going around with different people, even people around me, asking them for money. So he now came to me. I was just standing outside, I said, Ubi, you know, say don't help me, everything. But say, this one thing, I beg, I need them. I said, how much is that going? He said, was, I think it was 350k or something. I said, see, I don't get past 100k. Do you understand? Let me give you this. I gave him the 100k. I forgot about it, I never remembered it. So, um, about three weeks ago, I was just on my own. And we don't even see often. The last my son was in Abuja at, uh, at the hotel just before his birthday. So I got a call from him. He said, ah, Ogami, that's what he always called. He said, Ogami, you know, this girl where they disturb me for social media. I would like to talk to him. You know, say so he don't do a lot of things for me. I know would like, you know, when anything happens to him, I always call him and say, Yeah, what's going on? You know, on the side. You know, that is what friendship is. Friendship is not yeah. when something is happening to somebody on social media. You sit somewhere and take your your take side. Call the person. I hear from the person too. I know what is going on. You know, so that if you are sitting somewhere, they are talking. You can either defend your friend. If you are my friend, I defend you anyway. That's the thing. You defend me with tight. No, no, I won't defend you with tight. <laughs> anyway, but you defend never. You know, we, we disagree on that. So, um, and I said, ah, really. So I told, I told my cousin, I said, I don't want to call this girl. I said, man, I'm not even... Which of the girls? That Yankee one? Yeah, Yankee one, yeah. The one that was disturbing me recently. So, it was like, I, want to, I said, okay, no problem. I said, fine, if you want to go ahead, you can go ahead and call her. Call her, it's, it's fine. So he called the girl, we had a conversation, you know, <coughs> and he was able to come in between and talk to the girl and ask her what the issue is. There was really not an issue. You know, it was really not an issue. Um, like I always say, I'm never going to talk down on anybody I've been with. It's simple. I will never talk down on anybody I've been with. You know? How did you feel when, because her accusations were harsh, even I called you then? Yeah. Like, okay. So, what is this? Let me, let me get from MC Galax. So, MC Galax now called me. I didn't know that he had already planned mm -hmm. to give me 3 million naira because of. I helped him before. So, this guy now called me and said, okay, he's going to talk to the girl. So he spoke to the girl, he got back to me that we had spoken to her. I said, ah, really? I thought you were joking. Huh? Hmm. He spoke to her, they had a conversation and everything. And he was able to squash it. And um, <coughs> Because she came up after that, saying that everything is okay now. Yeah. MC Galaxy sorted it out. Yeah. So, the money MC Galaxy gave me, is different from what MC Gala has given. Yes, and truly I'll say it. Me, I always like to give people there, you know. MC Gala had reached an agreement with her and sorted her out. Right? We reached an agreement with her and sorted her out. Now, why did he do this? This is a friend that mm -hmm. I have helped before. Even there are friends that you've helped before that it's not as if MC Gala went to sort the guy, the girl, because I didn't have money to sort the guy, the girl. I'd paid out already. The contract said I'll pay you four million and you make no further demands. Mm. Do you understand? So when she continued making demand, which I paid out the formula, when she continued making demand, she said, you know, let me step in. Let's see how we can negotiate this thing and just end it here. End because it's, it's, it's too much, you know. And then that's what he did. And you see what? I have never expected MC Galati to be the one that will come when I, I have crisis or when, when I have an issue with somebody. Especially which, because of the number of people you've helped. Yeah, yeah, I, freeze. I don't want to. I don't want to blow my trumpet, but if I tell you the number of people that have helped, mm. there, are, there are people you know that have helped. That if I tell you, you'll be so sure that they, when issues are happening, they, they will rather gossip about me than call me. Mm. See, Mister Jolof, for example, when issues happen, 
he called me and always say, Baba, how you did that? Stay strong, bro. And guess what? People don't know that. You see Mr. Jolov, years ago, like 2007 or 2008, he used to sell electronics. He had a big electronics store and things went bad for him. Then Mr. Jolov would dash me 50K. So when I started my company that I needed brand ambassadors, he, he, I saw that one day I just was on Instagram, I saw his post about, um, I saw his post, he was doing a comedy skit and everything. And I called him and said, now you be this, he said, yeah. I said, ah, really? I didn't know now. You they do this thing and I say, Baba, I just they try and me. I say the thing they work. <laughs> <laughs> then he had like maybe seven or eight thousand followers. I told him I want to sign you as a brand ambassador. He didn't know what brand ambassadorship was then. Wow. Even when I brought him, people were like, oh, the guy talks too much. He's not good for your brand. This is my friend. I f this is the guy that this is the guy that helped me. If there's a way I can help him for him to know that his job, there was a brand that wanted to sign him. I begged the brand to sign him, begged him to sign him, they didn't want to sign him. And they called him and said, because he talks too much and it's controversial, they're not going to sign him. You know what I told him? I said, if you ever stop talking, you will lose more money. This brand, how much do they want to pay you? One million, right? I told my friend, don't worry. If you don't want him, leave him. But this boy is going to be endorsed by a different brand. Mr. Jolov has been endorsed by betting companies, has been endorsed by drink companies. He's making money. The other day he was just telling me how much he has made on the endorsement. I was like, really? Are you serious? He said, Baba, we just laugh here. We did make this money. I'm proud of him. Mm. And I'm proud that I was the first person that gave him an endorsement. Maybe first or second or first, but yeah. First person that called him and gave him an endorsement. I think before Bilonia bet. Do you understand? So the most important thing is to do it is not when people are talking down on your friend. Look for something in your friend that is good about your friend and portray that. Everybody has their differences. Everybody has their issue. Me and you, we don't agree about that, and we are never going to agree about it. No, you see, you are, you're going to listen to me. I'm going to see. You are not going to see. I'm going to show you the scripture. Please, we are not going to discuss that. I show you that we are who show. Please, don't so worry. We are not correct. Oh, 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 we are going to hear now. I'm not going to hear now. You see, so that's that's life. So I'm just going to like sort it out. You know, I I won't say I won't say I don't want to talk about her a lot. But for me, I didn't, I didn't expect what, what happened. Um, I feel like they are, everybody always has their, their differences. And for the sake of not, you know, because it's a situation I never wanted to speak about. Because if I want to speak about a situation, when it happens first, I'll speak about it. If I don't speak about it, just know that it's. But I thank God that there's an issue that, was, that, that went behind you. Thank God you didn't speak much. Yeah, so that, that there yeah. will not be any back and forth. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that, you know, so I left it. You know, do you think you have, do you think you are jinxed when it comes to relationships? You know there are some people that, they get business right, but they just, if they find relationships tasky. Are you one of those people? I don't think so. So there's still a... When I love, yes, I love to the end. Are you one of those guys that is possessive? Do you see yourself as possessive? Oh, where's the time to be possessive? <laughs> <laughs> Please, I'll tell you something, eh? Most of the relationship, People like me get into. Um, oh, you don't call me. I've, I've not heard from you. What the, what happened the whole of today? I've not heard from you. Is because, but, but sometimes now we're here with the carry walk. We sit down. We're thinking, thinking, strategizing. Do you understand? We're strategizing. Big brother is coming. I'm on big brother with one of my brands. You understand? In a few days, I've been strategizing. Tomorrow, before uh, I'm traveling, but they're shooting an ad for big. They are doing different things. I need to promote. I need to strategize. I need to go to my friend's office. Oh God, what is new? You know, their friends. I go to the office. I say, ah, what's new? Now? Tell me now. Show me the format. No format. Not in, in the in, in format. Like how does? How, okay, we, we format as in not in Yahoo. Not in a bed. Oh, clear that one. Yeah. So format in terms of okay, what are the new tools? Mm. You know, there are people that will feel proud not to go and ask their friend. Like today, I was in one of my friend's office. Um, uh, Chidi, okay, okay, he owns uh, Udo X. Yeah, I know Chidi very well. You know, you know that that Both is elder brother. Yeah, brilliant um, app, uh, music streaming app. Brilliant. I saw the user interface, everything really nice. I'm sorry, you see, this is what I do for my friends. Mm -hmm. I try to make sure that their businesses move if I have the opportunity. Brilliant. So I went to him and I'm like, okay, I need, and there are some tools I know that we can use to promote ourselves and everything. Where are the tools? You know, that's what I, that's what I do. So there's really no time to sit down and. See, if you are dating me, I'll tell you straight. I'm, I'm busy. Freeze, this is the longest I've been in Lagos in the last six, five months. 
I've not been in Lagos more than two, three days. The last, I've been in London, I've been in Paris, Monaco, I've been in America. I went for the OTC. I've, I've, I've been in Abuja. Mostly, I'm interested in Abu Dhabi. Dhabi. oil. Um, I went for the last. I've been. This is my third OTC, and the reason why I went, you know, mm. see, Baba, I did very well. Mm. I'm see, I read a lot mm -hmm. and position myself for any opportunity that comes. Do you understand? If you want us to do forex right now, I'll read about it. If it's something I'm interested in, something I will not take, I'll do it. So the good thing that help that helped me so far is I delegate. Have the right people in the right places, and I'm even trying to hire more now to position my thing properly. So, you have an office where you go to every day. Yes, in Lekki. Yeah, I don't do that. Oh, Abiyoga. Um, I don't. I go. I read the office late. I go. To, my office opens at nine. My people get to the office at eight forty-five, eight fifty. They pray. If I can make the, meet the prayer, I meet the prayer. If I don't get to the office at nine, that means I've gone for a meeting somewhere. If I'm in Lagos. I go to the office, I do my job, I interact with my staff, we laugh, I go to the offices, we sit down, we gist about stuff. Because see, work should not just be about, most times it's from that conversation you're having with staff, you know, you feel their pause, you know whether they're enjoying the work or they're not enjoying the work. You know, because you know there are staff that just stay in the office and they don't resign. You know what's going on? It's not because they are, um, they don't like the job. Maybe it's because there's some, there's some connection they are not feeling. You know, so, and the kind of work we do, we're into hospitality, we're into music, you know, we're into um, real estate, we're, we, we, we do different things, right? And you need to talk to people, what, are, what the last clients you had for this apartment in Suzo Place, was, you know, we need, you need to all, always get that feedback from your staff. And I always keep my office door open. Walk in anytime, talk to me, let's gist. What is happening? What are you not getting right? Okay. You know there are times where I sit down like this and ask my staff, they should talk to me, they should tell me what I'm not doing right. Mm. What they feel I'm not doing right. Sometimes I take a few things from what they're saying and go. It doesn't make me a lesser person. Mm. It just makes me a man that's ready to, you know, to grow. There are staff that are also good, not going to agree with you and will leave the company. Some of them know what they do. They go on social media and they start commenting and abusing you, mm. which is normal. But yeah. You know, you cannot, be, you cannot be friends with everybody. So there are people that will like you, there are people that will hate you. You know, there are people, some people that will say uh, you're a bad person. I'll say it again and again till today. I'm not someone policeman that invited me and say you have a criminal case against you or I've not been to court for, for any criminal case. I'm doing the right thing. Let me ask you a question. There are some people who are generally loved, yeah. like to face. Yeah. You find it hard to, to, to find one out of ten people that just hate him. Uh, Davido is close. No, Davido has a lot of love. He has a lot of love. A lot of love. That's what I'm saying. He's I love that guy to death. I think Two Face has more love than David. Marginally. Yeah. Marginally. From the older to the you know younger. You yeah. But after Two Face, the next person with love in Nigeria is David. Yeah. David is somebody I personally would not want to fight it. He's a good. He's a good, good guy. Uh, my mouth might be sharp, but because he has a lot of love, whatever you say. Will not catch it. Nobody, no matter how good your clap back is. You know, I always say, I always say something the kind mm -hmm. of controversies the video has gotten himself in, or that has happened to the video, if it were some artists, they would have been gone. Well, well, totally. And you see, those artists always come after it, 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 two, three dec decades. You know, two faces like that. You know, no matter what, two faces, you know, two faces is a very free, you know, free person, you know, I know, very nice guy, you know. Um, the video is like that as well. But some of us, some of us on the other hand, we have those who love us yeah. enough and believe in us, and we have those who hate us. You see, now, there are people that also hate these guys that they really love. Yes. But you see, because they, mm -hmm. they, because they have people that champion it for them, yes. and they always love them, they always love them. So before, like you said, before you try to attack them, you are waiting for the people that love them to come up. The beehive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's like, yeah, it's like a beehive. Be yeah. so, it's like that. So you, for instance, yeah. what do you think um, could be driving the hate force that is coming at you? Man, I have something in me. If I have nothing in me, nobody's going to hate on me. Mm -hmm. There's, there are many guys on the street. Freeze. If you were not in the position where you are, if you didn't take sides in the free, the free nation in yeah, Christ. That's our church. Let me hype it for you. You have to attend with us online. Never. Why? Never. <laughs> yeah. You know, for me, I... Let me ask you a question because you said never.
Do you come? Hello, pretty. Hello, hi. hi. <laughs> Hello. Go with your mom. Do you consider church a networking thing? Maybe that's why you don't want to give us. Because please, if I please. sit down with you, I don't want to have a. I don't want to have a. Please let just for one minute. Please, then we'll go back. To please, no, 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 no. Because who be? See, please, I don't want to talk about this. Because even me, I think we can open church more. You understand? Everybody they preach their own, but they preach their own. No, so let's talk about sound. Who be no hungry? See. Okay, maybe we should bring we should bring food now. Um, are we done? If there's anything else you want to say, oh, what what does I want to say? If there's anything on your mind, Ubi, this is your session. Um, I'm going to title this a session with Ubi. What Ubi clears the air. So basically, basically, I'm just saying. I mean, I just feel like there are there are many people that don't like me, and I don't I don't even the reason they don't like me is the reason why I shine. Crazy. Every day I wake up. I always believe that once people around me are okay, I'm more. Freezer, in my 33 years in life, and I've been in Lagos since 2005, I've touched a lot of people's lives. What are this? The artists where they'll come and meet me, they want to shoot a video. They are not under my record label. I'll give them. But you see, you have the same traits that you do have. So I'm wondering what's general. Because. You are like David in, let me give you an example. David's baby mama, for instance, um, started because David will promote it. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. He will show her love of her on, on her birthday. By the way, um, Lillian has a nail salon. I go there, steady. Are you serious? Yeah, I go there. You know, she, you see, for me, do you send her any money now that you're not that today? For my son, yes. But what about for her? Um, maybe she has it. She, she's okay now. She doesn't. She doesn't look like she needs money. Now. Yeah, but you see, nobody. Do. I we don't know one day. But you see, the thing, is, the the thing is, give me fifty k. Freeze. They bite me. Freeze. Now. You know the thing is, um, I think she's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's okay. And for me, I don't think that she she. If she ever, I'm sure if she ever does. Mm. If I ever need money, mm. and I need to call her, I'll call her. After you know, where me some money, you know. That relationship really should why if she does if she I'm sure if she has you but first of all she will always have me you know we you no know, she will always we just have to say I'm gonna get to you know there's this kind of relationship we have you know mm-hmm. there's this kind of relationship we have where that day we were at Chima Yasuo's wedding uh, uh, sorry the child the child education yeah you, did you drive together in the same car or yeah the next day? we drove together there's what a, were you talking about in the car um, was it a Business, let's drive. You know, there are some times where a brand will want to sign her. She will tell me, oh, this brand wants to sign me up. I just advise her and, and that's it. Finish. There's nothing. I just tell her, oh, really? So you're yeah. a much nicer guy than people paint you to. No, like, see, Lillian knows, yeah? There, there are times where. Because not many people would do this thing that you No. I saw it that day. There are times where. Chima, we were, I called you aside, yeah. if you remember. Yeah. Chima was the one that even she said, these people should get back together. And I was like, okay, I'll have a word with Lillian. Um, between you and I, I have. Okay. I, never, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, but it was somebody who was trying to, and I tried to reach out. She was a bit. She wasn't. She, does, she, doesn't she like wasn't her. insulted. She wasn't. Um, she doesn't like people getting. She yeah, wasn't taking she, decision herself. Do you understand? But I tried to push it, but very gentle because myself, I don't like it. They cost me. Yeah. So I was a bit gentle about it, and why? Because of that day, Chima raised it yeah you understand so i was like okay fine but when i saw that so we're cool like if we have to have a conversation we have a conversation guys please you don't see my picking day there so that we'll go ahead. you know it's not everything the father can do so go and support her um our salon is on um is it uh our salon is somewhere in lucky you can check it out on her page she always posts a lot about it Lyoka, Lyoka, uh, Lillian, you owe me a free pedicure so, manicure. yeah please I went, I was there, my last pedi, and that's why I did it. Are you serious? Yeah, look at me. Very neat. Everything. As a businessman. Yeah, yeah. I do my pedi myself in my house. Mm-hmm. I'll go with my daughter that's carrying Yeah, you should, you should, uh, you should. Uh, okay, I'll give you guys a treat there. Alright. Uh, yeah. So, that's is it, is it, see, for me, there's nothing there. There's nothing we're struggling in life today that we're going to take to our grave. Mm-hmm. It's simple. There's nothing. 
If I like, let me find Lilian for the next 10 years, or let Lilian find me for the next 10 years. It doesn't change who I am and who she is. You know, when you even spend time fighting your ex, right? What, do, what it does to you is, it kills a lot of things about you. Yeah. Well, you see, you said something first. You said, Lilian has never spoken bad about you. Mm -hmm. You are lucky. The two of you have sense. But when you have an ex, that has decided that they want to run you down. You know some people, like me for instance, I want to run you down. I will carry you to my Instagram and drag you. Mm -hmm. And my people come there and drag you with me. Mm -hmm. Some people don't have Instagram. Mm -hmm. They will just go, you know what they call, ah, you don't speak Yoruba. Halaruka. Yeah. They just carry your matter from one place to the other. I met, I met um, a popular gospel musician. It was his wife I met um, at the Suya Sport. So I was like, hi, what's up? And my wife was very nice to me. So I was like, ah, <coughs> you are nice to me. I'm wondering, I saw your husband at an event. I greeted him and he ignored me. The wife said, you are lucky. She is ignored. But you are lucky not beat you. I said, ah, what happened? If you hear what this former person went to tell him, so there's some, there's some, but it's, not, it's, 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 not, it's not in his place to judge you. No, but you see, there are things, listen. He was right to judge me. Why? Because I said those things about him. But the problem is, I said them with someone I was in a relationship yeah. with. So we both contributed. Yeah. Like, like, imagine, listen, me and you, I'm talking nicely about you. Oh, okay. When me and Taste Buds get to the room just before we sleep, what do you think about that? What you said? I go run you down in front of yeah. Because now my, or yeah. I go praise yeah, you. That's your comp, that's your. Yes. We all do that. But if you take that thing, because that's supposed to be. A, a union, a secret union. Yeah. And you take that thing and you go and put it outside. It's very dangerous. Because you have to, now you are speaking from a matter of fact and position. Yeah. Do you understand? So you're lucky, but you're also a great guy. Because in as much as Lillian never said anything bad about you, there were those who said a lot of bad things about you. Yeah. But you see, like I say, I don't, I don't, um, People feel like, okay, what's going on? You guys never said anything, but what happened? What happened? See, what happened, happened. Praise. There's nothing you can do about it. <coughs> look at her and look at me. You see that? We're, we, we're not you know, dwelling on the issues that we had or the reason why we're apart. Look how she's flying. I'm flying. You can imagine if we took two years after that to dwell on issues, fight, talk you about. You will be pulled back. You will be pulled back. back. See, the same way you meet somebody and say, ah, okay, this thing, I know they work again. Bye bye bye. The same thing like that. You see, but it's so painful that marriages don't work these days. It's painful. It's painful, you know. Painful. So it's just painful that it doesn't work, and it, it gives me a cause to worry. But like I said, please go and support her business. Um, Support as many people, even if you see my enemy, please support them. You know, this is Christianity, this is what we should be talking about. Yeah, I'm not that is Matthew chapter 5. Yeah. And listen yeah. to Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Paul a lot. Who's that? Pastor Paul at the first. Oh, your pastor. Oh, wow, who's pastor? He's your pastor. My colleague, you mean? Oh, he's your pastor. <laughs> oh, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, um, I'm cool. I'm sure if I saw uh, so, Pastor Paul. Paul, can I ask you a question? Yes. So, why do you stop at any house in the room? Because. Ah, you really want me to go there? All right, the interview is about me now. Um, at the rudimentary stage of my Christian life, the beginning of my walk with Christ, um, House on the Rock was a nice little ABC pop-up book, in my opinion. You know, um, colors, trace, um, objects. It was. But you see, the moment we started the spiritual work. And the walk in finding out who this Christ was, I realized that I had to step out of nursery school. Where we are now is university level. And university level is not the end because there's still masters, there's still PhD, there's still professorship. So when it comes to on this, we are at a stage where we challenge the apostles for mistakes they made in translate we've gone past challenging translation of scripture like in james for instance i wouldn't touch it in james book with my hand 
one of the greatest errors in recorded Christian history was done by King James. Now, when you go away from King James, See, you have the yeah, Pauline. Yeah, please, please, you are going to where I don't want you to go. And, the, and, and, and uh, you see, we have the apostle to the Gentiles and the apostle to the Jews. They all made mistakes. So we are there now trying to streamline to hit on Christ. We are trying to get that radar on Christ so we know who we are following. Can I ask a question? Yes. Paying tithe and giving out the money to, mm -hmm. to, to the poor, which you don't prefer? Of course, giving out the money to the poor. Okay. That guarantees you heaven. No. Matthew 25, 21. Now, what if you are paying tithe and you are still giving out to the poor? Now, here's the thing. You are not under any obligation as a Christian to pay tithe. So how do you, how do you think the church will run? That's the thing. So there's an okay. overemphasis on what the church run. The church is the temple. Let me tell you something. Here. Okay, so is Christianity a religion? Um, yeah. Okay, yes, but it's not supposed to be a religion. Now, let me give you another. Let me break your heart. First Peter 2 and 5. You are a priest. You know, that's why I said. Don't let this not end. That's why I said Paul, Pastor Paul, mm -hmm. is a colleague. If he considers himself a priest, he's my equal and your equal. He might be a teacher to some, but he's not ahead of you. Yo, okay, but I always say this thing, right? Yes. Um, you know there are people, there are people that feel like if I don't talk to my pastor, mm -hmm. right? Yes. I, I have a problem with that. Yeah. There are people that feel if I don't talk to my pastor, I'm not going to do this thing. Yeah. You know, kid, I was doing a, a, a contract with some guy. Yeah. And he said, I need to talk to my pastor. If my pastor says I cannot do it, I'm not going to do it. Right? He went ahead, spoke to his pastor, and his pastor told him, his spirit told him not to do that business. You see, people should understand that pastors are like us. You understand? We make mistakes. They make mistakes. Everybody does. But you see, they, 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 they are better teachers of the word, and they are our spiritual leaders and fathers. <laughs> no, listen. Spiritual leaders, I mean, in terms of, you see, in this home, you are the leader, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You are the leader. Yeah. And it's the reason why you are the leader. Yeah. And that's the same thing I'm saying, saying about it. I disagree with that. The scriptures for Christianity do not agree with that. We are all in Christ. But we are all equal. You know who's next? <coughs> you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But so we are all equal. But there's somebody that is leading the pack. Mm -mm. Teaching. You see? The scriptures are clear. Some would have a tongue, some would bring a sound, some would see, have a prophecy, some would um, teach, some would have wisdom. All come together to form Christianity. If your pastor is a teacher, he is one part of the body. In a church, you need to have structure. That's why you hear a senior pastor. Pastor Paul, are there for us? Your pastor. My pastor. My colleague. Okay. okay. And your colleague, too. I'm not a pastor. No, but you are a priest of See, God. but you know, I feel, let me tell you also the truth is, um, I feel like I connect to God directly myself. Good! I yes, support I, that in 100%. I connect to God directly myself, but I don't, all, I believe that tight mm. should be paid. Why? Why do you, why do you get paid, uh, why do you get paid the salary? Do you want to, you are paying God the salary? No, 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 see, because, you see, in the, okay, you worship outside. The connection I have with my God, I don't need anywhere else than my body. So everybody, every, every, everybody is doing things differently. There's a movement. You have, you have your own movement. Have, have you ever you? sat down to hear us out before? No, I don't want to hear you. Why? Because right now, you're giving me headed. <laughs> okay, um, Ubi is my special guest and my very good friend for a long time. Forget about our tight argument. Um, sometimes this is how me and Apostle Suleiman argue. <laughs> By the way, we'll talk about something off camera. Off camera? Mm. Okay, okay. But you see, there's one thing I don't want. I cannot hate you. I cannot hate anybody. And I cannot teach hate. I, I, I've learned a lot from you. You're very Christ like in, in your behavior. You you didn't come here and spoil this person and spoil you. Uh, this is the thing I'm learning. I have a bit of a temper. So when people cross me, I find myself, you know what, coming after them with the little weapons I have. Which is not a Christ-like thing, you know. So I'm proud of that. When I'm mean, teaching you Christianity now. <laughs> See, Chris, Let's go and eat. Everybody, everybody has a temper, but I want to tell you something. Yes. You know, there are times where I see you arguing with somebody mm -hmm. on social media, and I feel like you're well-spoken, 
I like addiction, but I don't like one thing or tight, which is there. Mm -hmm. Now, but the thing is, people don't see that there are a lot of things that we learn from people like you every day, yeah. right? People might not like me. People might not like me, right? It's none of my business for you to like me. If you don't like me, it's a burden you are carrying on your own that is not my business. Do you know as I am? There's, I can't tell you that there's somebody I don't like. Not that I love everybody, I like everybody. But there are people I don't, I might not, I might dislike what you do. But I don't, I don't hate you as a human being. Speaking of David, what's your relationship with David? Sorry, I don't. Very good. That guy, I'll do anything for him. Ah, no, no. See, you know, David is this kind of guy that wherever you are, yeah. you know, if David sees you, they're in trouble. Mm -hmm. They're in trouble and he has an opportunity to get. Do you know what? Have you seen people around David? There's nobody around David that has not benefited from David directly or indirectly. If you have, you know, I always tell people, if you're around someone like David, have something to offer the world. Because he'll give you a platform. He'll give you a platform. And if you go on David's Insta story, he can just post something about somebody. Yeah. Help you post even his, uh, uh, the way he supports even yeah. his baby mama. Yeah, he supports wow. that. Wow. You know, he supports, that's, that's the way it should be. He's a, he's a, he has a two face. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Yeah. Is ready. Okay, guys. No Thank proper you, interview without some taste buds. I have to call Ubi before Ubi, what do you like? Say Afang. Afang and... Uh, I've been seeing those food on Instagram. With socket yeah. booth periwinkle or shelled periwinkle. They say no, socket booth. Okay. Do you eat snail? They say yes. What is your swallow? They say Gary. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to Come. eat. You have to pick your mouth. Have you eaten? Yes. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go. Oh, the great interview. Bless you, my uh, darling. Enjoy. Where are you from? I'm in my school in Calabar. Oh. And That's right, in Calabar. Yeah. And River State. So. Maybe. It's my own inside. So that means Fisherman, Fisherman Soup will be, will, be, will be a bomb in this house. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to have? All right, guys. Interview has ended. What? Hmm? No, I don't want, I just want water. I don't I don't take water, alcohol. Okay. There's Sprite, there's Pepsi, there's eh, eh. It's so much free ad. <laughs> Baba, one day one day they'll start to pay. Then we'll take it exclusively. <laughs> Thank you, boy. <laughs> what share we? About that. Yes! Alright. This is some afang, you know. With perinkos, the snails, snails, dried fish. Uh -huh. Boy, how are you? Right. What happened to your leg? He's football. Oh, he's always getting injured. You play football? Uh -huh. Does anybody want you need to play, red wine? You need to play football. Hmm? No. Uh, it was yeah. ginger uh, 